what is up guys naman this side and finally i got my lenovo k4 note and as you can see this is the lenovo k4 note how the box looks like and i cannot notice any kind of branding saying that it is a lenovo k4 note nowhere on the box but trust me that this is the lenovo k4 note i have paid the full amount of 12000 rupees to amazon.in okay guys jokes apart let me show you what is written on the box you can see on the front we have a picture of the phone and on the back and here we have the sar value informations it is 0.844 volt per kg at 1 gram forehead and 0.711 watt per kg at 1 gram for body so they have improved the SAR values in this phone because it was very high in the previous K series phone which is the K3 Not. As you can see it is model is the Lenovo A7 1010 and the color is black variant and as you can see the MRP written on the box is 12,000 rupees and you can also get it from the Amazon.in at the same price of 12,000 rupees. And here we can see the three highlights of this smartphone that it have a full HD screen 5.5 inch of full HD screen and it have a dual front speakers with Dolby Atmos technology and you can see unique three mic auto audio input system and here are some quick specs written over here at the back side of the phone you can see uh, it have a, a 5.1 lollipop with the Lenovo Vibe user interface MediaTek MT675364 bit processor, 5 inch full HD display, 3 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage which can be expandable up to 128 GB, 13 megapixel autofocus rear camera with dual LED flash, a 5 megapixel front facing shooter, 3300 milliampere battery, dual micro SIM with 4G LTE support. Now let me quickly break the seals and show you the first impressions of the Lenovo K4 Note. So here we go. So you can see, let me quickly break the seals. Here we have the seal. And, and yeah, so the first thing we see is the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note itself you can see here let me keep this thing aside and show you the what else we get in the box so we have the screen guard within the box so it's good and let me see what we have in this box we have some documentations like quick start guide for K4 Note in the English language we have warranty informations and we have this SAR values and some informations in all the languages and we have this fast charger you can see this is the fast charger by Lenovo and as you can see the output of this charger is 5.2 volt and 2 amperes and it is made in China and we have the data cable let me open it for you guys you can see we have the data cable in standard data cable micro USB to USB cable in white color and we have the charger in white color but the phone is in the black color I don't know the story behind it but we get it and we do not get any earphones within the box so you have to purchase it separately guys here we have the main thing the phone itself the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note itself you can see this is how it looks like and at the back we got this back cover within the box along with the screen guard so it's good and you can see the quality of this back cover is looking pretty good as of now and Here's the phone itself, you can see, let me remove this wrapper, you can see this is the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note itself and as you can see, and the material is looking pretty decent I would say, it's a kind of fabric type plastic, it's not metal, but it's looking pretty good I would say and if it looks premium if you hold it in your hands, so the material they have used is pretty good in this price range I would say. 
Let me now quickly power it on and while the time it boots up, let me give you a physical overview of this smartphone. So as you can see at the top we have a 3.5mm audio jack. At the left side we do not have anything and at the right side we have a power button and volume rockers. At the bottom we have a micro USB port for data syncing and charging uh, with the primary microphone. At the back side of the phone we have a Lenovo branding, Dolby Atmos branding, a fingerprint scanner, 30 megapixel rear shooter with dual LED flash. And at the front we have a 5.5 inch full HD display protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3. And here we have three touch capacitive buttons speakers by Dolby Atmos front facing speakers and here as well and we have a 5 megapixel fixed focus front facing camera uh, at the front and earpiece and some sensors uh, let me complete these first boot formalities and I'll be back after that I have set it up all everything fingerprint scanner as well as you can see it works fine it takes approximately I would say 0.5 seconds to unlock the phone and we are in the user interface you can see this is the user interface and it's quite responsive let's now quickly go to the settings and as you can see we have the we have the Android 5.1 which is lollipop out of the box we get approximately 9.0 zero four gb of internal storage out of the box you can see on your screens and we get approximately 1800 mb of ram free out of the box out of 3 gb as we get a lots of bloatware pre-installed in this lenovo k4 note uh, we'll check it if we can uninstall it or not later but first of all let me show you one app we get in this phone pre-installed by lenovo which is lenovo companion here you can use this app it's pretty useful I would say you can use this app to check whether uh, the hardware of your phone is working fine or not by going to this option which is diagnostics you can run a hardware test of your phone like this a speaker test then it will ask you by a pop-up are you able to hear the ringtone if you do then press the yes button and so you can check the hardware is working fine in your phone or not and you can also check out the CPU frequency free RAM and ROM so as you can see we have 1.59 GB of internal storage used and 1.33 GB of RAM is free out of the 3 GB so this app is pretty useful if you get this Lenovo K4 note the Lenovo companion the app they have provided is pretty useful I would say let me now check if we can uninstall the bloatware or not by going to the apps so we have a lots of bloatware like Facebook Flipkart let me check so yeah you can uninstall some of the bloatware and you can also make more storage free for your Lenovo K4 Note. You can uninstall the bloatware like this, as simple as that. Let's now check out the audio playback of the Lenovo K4 Note by playing one song. So this is the full volume. This is the full volume and we have a Dolby Atmos technology so the audio would be pretty good I would say but we'll check it. Guys, let me now quickly show you the camera interface of this smartphone. So as you can see, this is the camera interface. It's quite unique and it is powered by Snapit. Let me show you some of the pictures I have clicked using the camera of this K4 Note. These are some of the pictures I have clicked using the 13 megapixel rear camera of the K4 Note. The picture comes out pretty decent in the HDR mode if you tap to focus an object. But still, it's not that much good according to the price I would say. 
so guys that's all in this quick unboxing and a hands-on review of the lenovo k4 note i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if this video helps you in any way then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it will take less than a second and make sure you are subscribed because i am going to do more special and surprising videos on the lenovo k4 note including the drop test and scratch test so make sure you subscribed because you cannot afford to miss those one and if you have any confusions related to this video you can ask me in the comment section below i will reply to each and every one for sure thank you so much for watching this video i will catch you in my next video till then stay techy